Welcome back to Advocation X, and this would be episode number 264. It is time for a newsworthy Trump broadcast. Now hit that like button, please. Subscribe, become a member, crush that bell, don't miss anything going forward. We need you to fight back against that YouTube algorithm. Give us your hand. Let's move on. The topics I'd like to tackle here today, Donald Trump's taxes. Donald Trump's business associations. Donald Trump's children. Huh. Southern District of New York. Let's dive deep right now. What we're looking at here is that the Supreme Court has now given the go-ahead and the Southern District of New York is now in possession of tons of documents, not literally tons, figuratively, tons of documents that are going to help in its pursuit of the truth. That truth being said, we've already heard testimony from his old lawyer and fixer, and that individual was quite forthcoming with lots of information that was given during testimony before he was even incarcerated for the crimes that he committed along with that unnamed person that we know is referred to as Donald J. Trump. I mean Trump. Let's stay legal here. His testimony alone, if backed up by the documents that they have just received, that's including his tax documents, etc., and accountant uh, filings and disclosures as well, all of that information has been given over now to the Southern District of New York. That means criminal charges. No, I'm not joking. It's not hyperbole. This is the fact that the actions that you do when scrutinized by those in power, they don't really care who you think you are. Criminal charges could be unleashed. In addition to those criminal charges, in connection with the election rigging that uh, Donald was engaged in, in those phone calls to the governors and et cetera, et cetera, look like they could also net some very hefty charges as well. It looks like financially he's going to be lambasted. Criminally, he may be ordering a custom-made orange jumpsuit. I believe that came from his lawyer and fixer who uh, stated he believes that's what he should be looking for right now. Many people are saying it. I'm hearing it everywhere. He's going to jail. Who's he? Mm, Donald. The Donald. The Drumpf. Do you know who else may be sitting right alongside him? His three eldest children. I I'm happy actually that when they did mention it, they did not mention uh, Baron or Tiffany. Because I don't believe that Baron or Tiffany should ever be touched by the garbage that this individual has perpetrated against humanity. Whatever he has done, and whatever his children has, have followed him into doing, deserves whatever they get. The children will be scrutinized from top to bottom since they were executors or executive officers of the Trump organization. Now, I guess one of the worst things that Trump did is that he lumped his whole thing into one because he just, he loves his name so much that everything had to be under the Trump organization. Well, Donald, you're going to get what you uh, what you were wishing for. That name is going to be made a household name around the world now. Not in a good way. As we know, the Trumps, Trumps have been falling from favor regularly right across their own country and across the world. It's going to get way worse. They're going to be toxic. Anybody who associates themselves with that family or the organization is basically setting themselves up for massive scrutiny. As this investigation progresses, anything that they encounter during this investigation is going to be fair game. That's been stated in the courts. They have a lot of leeway now with the information that's going to be coming out to pursue anything that falls out of the envelope. You know what? If we go back 
to 2015, if you listen to the predictions that I made way back then, I think you'll find I was pretty bang on. Like someone else I know. What's his name? Mm, Elon Musk? My timing may be off, but my accuracy seems to be bang on. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Just throwing that in there, guys, because I know you get distracted. We do have good content. I'm bringing you great news, but I need your help to go forward. That YouTube algorithm will hold back the best of us. So don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, become a member, crush the bell. Don't miss anything going forward. Now to go forward, the Southern District of New York has exclusive power over this investigation. It is out of the hands of the federal government. Even Joe Biden cannot issue a pardon to Donald Trump, as past presidents have been known to do, issue pardons to the exiting president as basically some sort of a traditional courtesy for each other. Well, that's not happening here because most of his troubles are coming civilly and criminally via the states themselves. The lawsuit for defamation of character by Stormy Daniels looks to me like it is going back on the table. Oh boy, there's going to be more reckoning to happen once that hits the fan. The sexual assault case, that is going to go forward because statute of limitations are never going away and he's no longer president. That means full, full accountability for a normal citizen of the U.S. of A. Remember, his inciting on January 6th, it has gone much further than that. Apparently, a lot of these groups, or some of these groups, are really planning hard ways of hitting back. I suggest you all get yourselves prepared and make sure you're ready to defend yourselves against these thugs, domestic terrorists. That's what they are, all of them. You want to know what else? Any of you Canadians, any of you Canadians, I'm a Canadian, born Canadian, born Canadian. We know the whole entire population of the world originates from Africa. But let's just say that Canadians are something different than Africans or people from the USA are different from Africans. People from Sweden are different from Africans. You're all the same. But anyways, when we look at what is going down with the Canadian people, who love and idolize Trump, I have the perfect thing for you. You need to get down to CPAC right away. Get down there and worship the golden idol image of Donald J. Trump that they have put on exhibition. People are going down there and taking pictures with it. He is now God. He is now your God. I implore you guys, do not miss this opportunity to get down there and spend time with your idol. I mean, your, your God. I guess technically that's an idol. Ooh, technically God doesn't like idols. But come on, guys, don't worry about that. You get down there, spend your time with him. He's waiting for you. It's all golden up and he's got jerseys on and gold. Oh my gosh. Wonderful, wonderful. I was so, so impressed when I saw that. Let me please bring this back into perspective. There's a whole lot of stuff about to hit the fan all around the Drumpf and all around the people who are associated with him, all around the people who executed some of his more dangerous and nasty desires. All of this stuff is now coming to a head. Please beware. You might just find yourself on the wrong side of history on the wrong side of the law. I mean, come on, face it. On the 6th, you guys didn't care about law and order. You just cared about doing whatever you felt like doing. You brought weapons to the Capitol. You, you were beating cops with American flags. And you, you replaced the American flag with a flag of Donald Trump. And you call yourself a patriot? You call yourself an American? Don't even. And look, I don't really care about your flag. It's a flag. It's a piece of cloth. But you say you do. 
You don't. You're just a liar. Tell me to my face you're not a liar. Tell me to my face that you're a true patriot in the true sense of a patriotic word. Yeah, give, him, give it a break. Defecating in your capital? Defecating in your capital buildings? Yeah. Oh, what a patriot. You guys are the best. Hey, however, there's Canadians that I would love to send to go join you. And I'm with this video, I'm sending all Canadians who love Trump, please go join your brethren down south and enjoy your time with them. I, I have nothing against you guys. Go do your thing. Just please don't interfere with all the other good people who are loving life on a much finer note. Okay? Not better. Not better. Finer note. I'm not saying they're better than you. Finer note. Where they're actually compliant with the rest of humanity so that they are not causing everybody else in their world discomfort. Yes, I know it causes you discomfort, but you guys are the minority. You're very few. Very few. Yeah, I know you say, oh, he got all those votes. Yeah, he did. Great. You're still very few on the big scheme of things. You know there's a whole world out here with 7.2 billion people? Well, if we poll those 7.2 billion people, ah, you guys are like a tiny, minuscule minority. Just understand that. You're up against the big wall, and if you start testing that wall, it just might fall the wrong way. Okay? Just, just letting you know that. Anyway, folks, remember, we never give up. We never give in. But we'll keep an open mind because knowledge is our power. And by doing our research, we will maintain our power and we'll never be hoodwinked like some people I know. So, thank you for spending time with us here on this channel. Hit that like button, subscribe, become a member, crush that bell. Don't miss anything going forward. We need you. Your comments, your submissions, your private messages that allow me to follow your lead. This channel is yours. Thank you from Advocation X to all you beautiful thinking people out there. And we hope that you go into the future with us with guns blazing. So stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you again for spending time with us here on this channel.